Best side, it's Lower East Side. Folks, I'm a lifelong learner. I love learning things and then telling people about things that I have learned almost immediately. I like reading something in the New Yorker on Tuesday, and I'll tell you about it on Wednesday. Recently, I learned something, and I want to share it with you now. And it's a very New York specific thing. It's happening right now. Maybe you've heard of it. Ladies and gentlemen, have, do you know about this? Fatbergs. Do you know what fatbergs are, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Los fatbergs for our Spanish-speaking audience? <laughs> Maybe you've seen the subway ads. Fatbergs are forming, even right now, deep below us, in the pipes somewhere these things are happening. And, and uh, what, what a fatberg is, it's when you have the wet wipes that are being flushed, okay, and they meet up with mu must be an ever-flowing, thick uh, stream of cooking grease that is being poured down the drains, even though we've been told not to do that. These things are meeting up and forming sewer blobs that are miles across these fabrics. I know, it sounds like a horror movie or something, and maybe it will be, I don't know, there's a lot of creative people out there coming up with great ideas, but when I first read about this, when I saw it in the subway, I was, I was like you, sir, I was afraid. <laughs> I was alone, also like you. Worried about my shared living situation, my student loans. <laughs> Concerned about my career choice. Is this right for me? You have a lot going on, I'm an empath, I can feel this. <laughs> but later that night, as I slid into my meditation hammock, and I lay there motionless so as not to disturb my wife, Galinda, who is a very light sleeper, I started to grok the fatberg a little more. I started to really think about it. And it occurred to me that, you know, the cosmological timeline, ladies and gentlemen, is vast, isn't it? Humanity has existed for a mere speck, a, a blink of the eyes, really. That's all that we've had. So imagine, you know, where the universe starts with I don't know what, but something, it happens, and then there's a lot of dust, and then planets form, and then there's some volcanoes, and maybe some rain, and then you got dinosaurs, and probably a long-toothed rat, and then us. <laughs> us, ladies and gentlemen. So think about all the things that had to converge, all the major things that had to be in place for us to be here at this moment, the moment of the fatberg. <laughs> It's remarkable. You think about human, humanity's great achievements, right? You think about uh, jazz, right? The fax machine. Uh, I want to say e-cigarettes, which up until recently I thought was a method of emailing someone a cigarette. It's not that. And then now here we are with fatbergs. It's remarkable, miraculous, isn't it? And how beautiful that these two things so different, right? The flimsy wipe and the resilient grease fumble and stumble through who knows what and God knows what and for how long miles of darkness just to find each other and form a bond that is inseparable except by extreme mechanical intervention before something really terrible happens. That's love, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that what we're all searching for, the fat bird? We can learn a lot from that. It's inspiring when it comes down to it. We should all aspire to be like the fatberg. Mi amo a fatberg. I mean, it's a beautiful thing when you think about it, and you really should think about it a lot. <laughs> Wipes and grease. Think about it. Sewer blob. Anyhow, uh, speaking of love, how about the deep night dancers, ladies and gentlemen? They were up here. Yes, Lillian and Audrey. Audrey recently let me know that she quit her job to focus full time on this. Uh, so that's great. That's great. Now I'm financially responsible for the two of them. 
Uh, but that's uh, pursue your passion, live your bliss. Uh, also back here, Cornelius Lloyd is with us. There he is. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, Cornelius, I gather you're playing the theremin there, which is a wonderful instrument. I gather you're just back from Los Angeles. Is that true? That's true. That's correct. That's true. That's great. Well, you know, uh, we're going to be talking about all kinds of things tonight. Some uh, creatures, some movies, scary movies, Ooh. love, crystals, all the usual stuff. Uh, but uh, uh, L.A., they got a lot of movies out there. They got a lot of movies and ghosts, too. They got a, were you a staying with some ghosts? Was. I was staying where Janis Joplin lived in Hollywood at this oh. hotel that was rated with two stars. <laughs> <laughs> was it always two stars? Was she there when it was two stars? You know, I don't know if it was two stars when she stayed there or if it became that after. You think she but brought it down? She might, I don't know. But yeah. you know, it was the first hotel I stayed at where I was actually scared to take a shower. Because her ghost is there? Was it Not the ghost, it was the rug. It was dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that would scare you the most, dirty things? Yeah, I'm good with yeah. the ghosts. I'm definitely yeah. good with the ghosts. It's just the dirt. Listen, I can relate. That's great. Well, scary movies, they got a lot of theremins in there, don't they? They do, yeah. That's yeah. pretty much, you know, what's been done in that. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Any famous ones you can think of? Famous horror movie? Well, The Day the, the Earth Stood Still. I mean, that's Classic. pretty scary to think of robots. Yep. No robots are very scary. No. <laughs> yep. No robots and dirty carpet. Pretty much it. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I never tire of the sound. It's always wonderful. But uh, I was wondering, Cornelius, uh, if you could, <laughs> if you could hold it for a minute. And uh, wait, once you get started, it's hard to stop, isn't it? That's it's, what it it's is. True. Yes, I just yes, can't. No, I, I, can't I, I understand. I understand. I understand. You've been away. Now you're excited to be here. It's okay. Uh, now, could you play me a little sitting down music? Something low and slow, like a fat bird being dislodged, a sewer grate into the Hudson. Great, thank you. I'm sitting down. Music. 